Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a sidebar menu in Divi. I'll be working in a theme builder template and basically modifying a menu module to work like a sidebar navigation module. So let's take a look. I have the link to the written blog post where all the code snippet is located in the description. You can check that out. And there are some links that are important here because before we get started, I just want to make sure that this tutorial is the, the right one for you. Now I have various tutorials on my blog, well hundreds of them, but a, a different one that you may be interested in and you may want to just double check to see if that one solves your needs first. That's this tutorial I have linked called how to make a vertical menu. Now that one is much simpler and it's just showing you a very nice um, vertical menu and you could make that quite simply actually. The one that I'm going to show you involves a little extra steps and it involves more menu links and sub menus and making it scrollable and making it fixed and all of these things. So I just wanted to point out like to make sure that you can kind of uh, see the difference. Um, that one's going to be uh, much simpler and would work best without sub menus. Like if you just have a very simple like five to 10 items in a sidebar. This other one is going to involve this step number one, which is actually this other tutorial that we have on our blog. It's a very, very popular one, um, how to collapse the mobile menu sub menu. So I have that linked, go check that out. That was, that's actually step one because we're, we're adding on to that. Normally that, particular tutorial would be for like when you're on a phone and you go to click the hamburger icon and then it opens like that and pretty much like the screenshot shows right it's going to open it's going to have this little toggle icon you'll be able to expand different sub menus so it's building upon that okay and that's step one you have to go do that but then from there on we're moving it to the desktop so step two now is adding a css class to the menu module. Now, I do talk about it a little bit right here. Basically, we're working in the theme builder template. Um, the use case for this could be like if you have um, a custom post type, a really good use case would be for like documentation. Maybe you have a product. I actually um, came up with this tutorial for my own needs, making a documentation section of a website for one of my WordPress plugins that I'm creating. And it works great because you can design the menu in WordPress and then show it in Divi like this. So that's where is the best use case for it, like in a theme builder template. And also like the way that I've designed this, I'll just say at the beginning here, isn't to isn't necessarily to be like a full um, your full website navigation. I, I I was picturing it more like for a specific post type, maybe your blog posts, like maybe these are or a blog post or categories in a blog post or something like that, whatever you wanna put into the module. That's how I was imagining it, but you could also use it for your whole website if you want. It'll, it'll just take a little modification. Anyway, enough talking, let's do this. So PA sidebar menu is the class. You can see where we're putting that. I will go in here. I have a page right here. Um, this is my content on the left and my menu on the left that's in this theme builder template, okay? So for just for my sake, I've assigned this template to that page, all right. In here, I have a post content module because that's required to show the content of the page. You will always need that because that's dynamic. It's like a window, you're looking through it. So right now we're seeing the desktop menu here, okay? I've already done step one, that other tutorial, but we're not really seeing that other tutorial about collapsing the sub menus because we're still seeing the desktop menu here. So that's okay, you can kind of ignore that for now. Just go into the advanced tab of the module and paste that class right there, PA sidebar menu, okay? And that's, that's, a, that's step number two, all right? Next is adding that actual CSS, and that's what's doing a lot of the work. And just go down here and click copy right here. That'll copy all of this. And you're going to want to put this in your Divi theme options. In fact, I will do that. So I'll just go to the back end here of my demo website and go down here. I have the code in here already from the other tutorial. And I'll paste that and save changes. 
then I'm going to go ahead and go look at the front end and show you what we have so far. There, ta-da, there it is. So you can see very clearly right away, I have a full menu set up. And so if you don't, go ahead and like add a full menu in WordPress, in your WordPress navigation menu. And then you can see here, I, as soon as I expand it, I'm getting this scroll bar. I, I wanted that, I wanted this to stay fixed. I wanted to, so when I expand these, these toggles, I wanted it to just be a fixed height and scroll within there. If you do not want that, you can adjust that. So you could come back here to the code. Uh, somewhere in here, I have a max height of 50 viewport height. Now that's 50% of the available screen. You could change that to any other value. I could make that 60, I could make it 70. Now, if I made it 70, just as a quick example, it will make it taller here, and that will show up here when I start expanding. That's, notice that when I expand, it doesn't get any taller. I've also just added this black border so you could kind of see it, you know, kind of just see what we're working with. And then this green scroll bar is also styled there in the CSS. Um, here's the width of it, here's the color, um, here's the color of the actual handle on the scroll bar and those kind of things. Yeah, and then here's the max height. The overflow is set to auto. That's why like when it auto when it expands it automatically um, scrolls, okay? And here I just say box shadow none and border to just so you can see it better. The other thing that's important is I wanted it to be fixed. So notice, well, normally I would have a longer page here. But you notice when I scroll, it stays fixed. See that? That's because I wanted it that way. I wanted to have it that when I, like if this was a documentation site and over here on the right side is, you know, instructions down through, I wanted this to be always available. Um, so in the advanced tab of anything in Divi, any of these modules or sections, go down to scroll effects stick to top see that stick to top and that's what's doing that um making it sticky it might look like that in the theme builder um, but so that's that now one more trick which is pretty cool go down to step four this is kind of an optional one but you're probably going to want to do it in this in this setup this jquery here is is really clever so what's happening is let's say this menu sidebar right this page that's actually in this menu right here see menu sidebar so I'm gonna refresh again just to close everything quickly so it's in here wouldn't it be nice if this sub menu this specific one was already open since I'm viewing this page that's what this code will do um, you could put this code in integration right here this would probably be a really good place to put it so just Go in here, paste. So I'm in integration tab, this top one here, paste it. So you can see PA sidebar menu. It's What it's doing is saying, if the current page that I am viewing is in this menu and it's a sub menu item, like right there. Now when I load the page, now I'm, a, now I'm just coming to the page. Look at that, it's open. So I think this is really cool because now, now you can make it so that this becomes like a full navigation for like, like, like a good example is documentation. If this was a documentation site, now, now I can still expand and be like, I want to click on this one or this one, or I want to look through here and find what I need. But the fact is the current one will always be open when I come to that current page, whichever one I'm on. If I, if I had come in here and clicked on this one under, under this, then this toggle would be open when I'm on that current page. So I thought that was cool. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too overwhelming. I know this kind of tutorial can get a little complicated. There's a lot of different factors here. Now, if you wanted to, you know, like I said at the beginning, if you wanted to make this like your full vertical navigation, you may be able to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to work when you switch over to mobile. I guess that'll be normal. You may 
have to make your row full width, 100% max width and width, and then yeah, the, the your pages will be in the post content module. So it may work. So go ahead and try that if that's what you want. But the use case that I had in mind was documentation. So I kind of presented it that way. Hopefully that's okay. Um, I'm sure there's other use cases for this and hopefully that it was valuable to you. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. We'll see you all in the next video.